Um, good morning, everyone. It's 10 minutes past 9 o'clock right now. Uh, we are being joined by our good friend Sherry Clark. Yay! And of course, this time of year, with the temperatures fluctuating the way they are, a lot of people are experiencing very dry skin. Yep. And you have your flaking skin. You're doing everything you can to, to put things on your skin right. so you're not itchy and things like that. But buying skincare products can be a tricky uh, option for some people because sometimes you look at the ingredients and there's no way, unless you're a scientist, you can pronounce some of the exactly. things that are in here. But you have some uh, options for people to use that are equally if not better exactly than and first let's take a look at why that would even be important um, if you think about your skin it is the largest organ mm -hmm. of the body and so what does that mean it means that we absorb everything we put on our skin so let's think about for example people who try to quit smoking and they put that the patch on right it's the reason it works is because the skin absorbs the nicotine and and so forth and it's rather quick too if you put it's something on your skin it, it mm -hmm. sucks in real fast it certainly does and things like uh, there's there are birth control methods that are done transdermally or by the skin if you pick up mercury and play with it you can get mercury poisoning so it's really something to take quite seriously that the things that we put on our skin really are important so the more natural we can go the the better off we are All right. so let's talk about what some of those things might be there are some really basic things and I'm not even going to get into um, cosmetics and you know blush and eyeshadow and lipstick and those kinds of things that we can do later but let's just talk about some basic skin care things. One of my favorite things that I use all the time is coconut oil. And so I use that um, in, in coconut oil. You must have a 55 gallon drum of this <laughs> at home. Yeah. yeah, this is just my travel. Uh, my I travel would, would imagine, yeah. Um, coconut oil is available in, in most places now. It's pretty easy to find. You can get it in most um, supermarkets. There's refined and unrefined. I prefer with everything in my life that I do the unrefined version. I use that for just about every Thing. If you use it in small quantities, it's good for hair conditioner. I have, I tend to have, I've got curly hair, you might have noticed. It has a little bit of frizz to it. If I rub it on my hands and put it, not a lot because you don't want it to be greasy, greasy right. but a little bit will help it be, keep from being fly away. Really good all over the body is a, a, is a nice emollient. It's really good for the dry skin. I put it on my lips. It's great for all those. I even use it on my face. So a lot of people are surprised about that. So speaking of your face, the reason that people's face looks youthful and pe we look good and feel good and it doesn't hurt when we smile is because we're hydrated. Right. So the, another place to begin when we're thinking about our skin is hydration from within. And I'm mentioning that now because you have a beverage in front of you. You know I Ooh. can't come here without giving you something to consume. We, we have to consume nice. something. You oh, do. Sorry, Part of the Scott, rules. Moving so, my drink. Exactly. So um, cucumber is really wonderful for skin. It's so high in water content. So I made you a little cucumber cocktail. It's heavy in cucumber juice, skin and all. You can tell because it's dark green. Mm -hmm. There's no surprise, a little bit of lime in there. I topped it off with a little hit of sparkling water, and there's a little sweetener in there, and maybe you'll taste what the sweetener has going for it. Yeah, and it does separate a little bit, so you need to mm -hmm. stir it. Okay, so you know it's, it's real. Exactly. You know it's the real deal. Does it taste a little bit sweet? Do you, can you taste that? A tiny little bit of peppermint stevia. Oh, is that really? what it is? Mm -hmm. I wanted it to taste a little bit like a mojito, so that it wouldn't just ah, be straight. Ah, ah. So, so, so oh, that's. Is there other. ginger in there at all? No. 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 And again, uh, cucumber for people that don't realize it really is thirst quenching. Oh, it's oh, it really great. Is, does a great mm -hmm. job. And it's also good topically. Um, that we've got. I I brought a little fruit bowl here of the things that you can actually use on your skin. And cucumber, you've seen um, like on TV or in the ads, cucumber slices put you on put the on eyes. Put on your eyes. Right? Yeah. It works. If you've got puffy eyes, if you've been crying, if you've been up late or whatever, that really does work. It, t it has an astringent value, so it takes away the puff. If you don't have a cucumber in the fridge, most of us have potatoes on I was going to say, there's potatoes in here. Yes, really? Yes, potatoes are great on the eyes, yeah. You, a potato slice will do the same thing that a cucumber slice no will. No way. So okay. I, I go, do go with whatever's less expensive Let's at the time. Let's look in here. What else we have in here? How about... Uh, <laughs> Lemon. Okay, two things. One, internally, start the day with some hot water and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Great way to get the, the digestive juices mm -hmm. going and so forth. And then also as an astringent on the skin. Now, the reason why we want our digestive, you, you're looking at me. Yeah, because isn't that a little acidic no, for it, your skin? Uh, but the skin is supposed to be acid. The skin has a, what we call an acid mantle on it, mm -hmm. which means it's supposed to have an acid finish to it. Okay. So if you don't have if you don't have fresh lemons, another way that you could do that would be to use uh, apple cider vinegar, and you okay. would get the unrefined apple cider vinegar, the kind that has the mother inside of it, um, which is what it says on the label with the mother, and that's okay. another option. 
Or you have a tomato in here too. I have tomato because that is also, if you think about it, has an acidic quality. Mm -hmm. I, tomato is great to use as a toner. Juice it, and then you can spray it on your face. Let it sit for a moment, and then wipe it off with a cotton. And you ball. smell like you just came from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> yeah, okay, exactly, or like a Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah. Another one we have avocado, high in fat. Great. Whip it up and smear it on your face as a little mask. Lay down for 15 minutes, and your skin will absorb the natural oils from the avocado. And they're on sale. And they're on sale. Mm -hmm. And here's the good thing: we buy the avocado. This has happened to all of us. Going to use it in a salad. Open it up. Oh, it's brown inside. Mash it up and put it on your face. It'll still work. The emollient qualities are still there. Even though you don't want to use it in your guacamole, it hasn't gone and to waste. And when you're done letting it work on your face, you'd get some chips and just you <laughs> scoop it off and <laughs> boom, you got oh, it. Right there. And over. then the biggest one here, the pineapple. The big pineapple. Mm -hmm. The reason that we have a pineapple is, again, the pineapple has a lot of enzymes in it. And so the enzymes will take away the dead skin and the layer of things that are on top of the skin that you want to get rid of. So pineapple and also papaya will work. I was, I was going to suggest papaya, yeah, okay. Yep. Wow. So th what you would do with those is either the juice or the flesh all ground up, smear that on your face, and then and let it sit. And it, it truly will, it will eat away the, the top and, and the reason you have to remember this is when you use meat tenderizer, for example, a lot of it uses the pineapple enzyme and papaya enzyme. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So there are other things that you could blend with those enzymes if you wanted. Jackie, I brought you a couple of uh, containers of just some of the raw materials that I use. And what I do, those jars, yep, uh, what you're doing is exactly what I do. I just, I leave them in, in, like that. I'll grind that up. That's just oatmeal. Okay. Grind it up, leave it with the lid on so it's all ready for me to go. Put a little bit of water or pineapple juice, rub it together, and then I've got an exfoliant. So so that like I use a paste. That paste, yep, to clean my face. Same thing with the almonds. So I would grind those up. I wouldn't leave them quite that large. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one And heck if of you an do experience. take a picture and send it to us, <laughs> right? Okay? Exactly. Please. Yeah, you've got big pores if you can get that to work. Right. Um, so you would grind that up and then keep that on your shelf or keep it in the refrigerator, and then it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Because part of the barrier for some people with this is it's like, well, that sounds real good, Sherry, but I don't want to go and slice up a pineapple. I want to squirt something in my hand and put it on my face right. and go to bed. But if you, you've got that handy, then keep that in the bathroom and you, you're all, you're ready to go. Just add your water or whatever. So Perfect. very easy. If you wanted to go to the store and buy a few things, you've got that as an option. Before we move on to that, I also want to tell you why I have salt here. Mm -hmm. Good for pimples. If salt. You, salt. Because if you think about it, think about what the pimple looks like. It looks like something that needs to be dried up. And if you go to the ocean, we take our summer vacations. If you have a little bit of bad skin, when you've been in the ocean, your skin looks beautiful mm -hmm. when you're done. That salt water dries up any of those extra oils. So just a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, dab it on your pimple before you go to bed, and I bet you the next day it'll be better. Wow. Okay. It's awesome. There you go. Want to buy nice some things life. at the store? One of the things I really love is borage oil. And borage oil is actually made from the seed of the borage plant. It looks a little bit like a stargazer lily kind of a thing. And so they make this out of the seeds. It's really moisturizing. And since it's good topically, it's also good internally. So you can buy borage capsules, the oil, take those. And if you have skin inflammation, you know, you get red, like mm -hmm. eczema people with seborrhea, right. psoriasis, that's helpful for, for those things as well. Really? Wow. Yeah, really, pretty inexpensive. I mean, it's a good value. It's not as the expensive as some of the department store lotions that we think are going to be so good because right. they're so pricey. Real good value. A couple other things to try, jojoba oil, mm -hmm. isn't that, I just love to say it, it looks like jojoba. Jojo, jojo, yeah. <laughs> jojoba oil, the reason I like that is it's not greasy. It goes into the skin really quickly. It's easy to blend with things like essential oil. So if you've got oily skin and you put jojoba oil on your skin, you don't end up feeling like a grease pool. It, it really right. absorbs really well. The other thing about jojoba oil is it lasts a long time. Some of those oils will go rancid really quickly. Right. It's got a really long shelf life. Um, I like uh, vegetable glycerin. Glycerin is the, uh, vegetable glycerin is the oil produced by plants. Now some people are like, oil produced in plants. Plants have protein and oil. People ask me all the time as a vegetarian, where do you get your protein? I get it from vegetables. I also find vegetables to be a source of natural oils. So glycerin is a really nice thing to blend with something like rose water. Spray it on your face. The rose water will stay on the face and be trapped in by the glycerin, which keeps it around a little bit longer. Okay. And finally, you'll notice I've got honey on here. 
honey is awesome. Raw honey in particular, um, put on your face, you can feel it tangle just like you can feel the pineapple. Seriously? In the yeah, it feels great. You know that it's working because you'll feel it. Not tingly like hurt, right. tingly like, wow, this feels really good, it's doing something. You can blend that with the oatmeal, you can blend it with your almonds, um, you can do it straight and that's really lovely. Now you have raw strapped across the top of that there. Is it important to have raw honey? What if you don't have any raw honey available? I would do raw honey because um, it's still got the enzymes and they're live. If Honey that's not raw has been pasteurized, right. which means it's been heated at a high temperature. So some of the best, the nutritional value is gone. Some of the skin care value is also gone. Okay. So your final tip, remember this, and this, I brought this fancy bottle because huh? I wow. really like the glass bottles of water. We have to stay hydrated, right. not just with the juices, but with plenty of water every single day, or your skin's never going to look the way that you want it to. There you go. If people want more details, I imagine they can always contact you, Sherry, but Absolutely. there are some other reading materials that'll kind of guide people along of uh, ways to take care of their body yep. with basic recipes where you know the ingredients, you can pronounce the ingredients, but also creating a healthier you. And that book's a, a particularly good one because it's got 175 different recipes. They're oh, all wow. easy with things that you would have. Either they're in your pantry now or they're easy to come by. No fancy, weird stuff that you have to special order. Okay, okay perfect. good to know. Yeah. Now, if people want to follow along with you, what's going on? Where can they do that? I would go to fork-road.com or drop me an email at info at fork-road.com. You know I love to answer your questions and I love to hear your suggestions. The reason that we're doing this segment today was it was a suggestion from a viewer who said, could you do something on skincare? And I said, well, holy heck, yeah. <laughs> there it is. So, holy heck, there you go. There Perfect. you go. One